It was a cool Thursday throughout the region. Let's take a look at yesterday, 44 our high, 37 for our low. So, and that 44 is due to all the cloud cover throughout the region. So we were below average for our afternoon high, slightly above for our low, nowhere near records of 72 or 19 respectively, and sunset occurring at 6.52 p.m. As we look at today's highs though, about the same 43 in Marquette, 48 in Iron Mountain, 49 in Escanaba, 44 in Hoenn. So those 40s very widespread once again, but conditions are going to get a little bit milder for your Saturday, you know. Tell you about that in just a second. But first, the winds right now blowing out of the northwest at 6 in Iron Mountains, out of the northeast at 6 in Escanaba, 7 in Marquette, more of the southeast at 10 in Munising. So, relatively light, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Ironwood at the lightest, only at 3 out of the southwest. Now, we look at what's ahead going into your weekend. Decent, it's going to be a nice and decent Saturday. We're going to have a little bit of a warming trend as well. We'll have more, a little more sunshine coming into the region, but by Sunday we'll be dealing with a quick moving disturbance that will bring some showers and some rain chances back into the UP. But by the time we get into Monday and Tuesday, that will be long gone and we'll have abundant sunshine to start the first couple of days of the work week. But going into your Saturday, that same cold front that was over us back on Wednesday and Thursday will now be focusing on New England as that low pressure is centered in Maine. We're going to deal with some mixed precipitation into parts of Quebec but really most of the rain will be in New England. The rest of the east will be enjoying very quiet conditions, but the cooler air is going to funnel all the way down to Florida. So this is actually really the first cold front of the season that's going to make it all the way through the entire U.S. For us in the UP, though, we'll begin to see some, some of that southerly flow coming in while the lower peninsula will continue to see that cooler air on their Saturday, and their warming trend really will begin on Sunday. As we look at that future cast, conditions going into your Saturday will have a mixture of sun and clouds, but overall very quiet, no rain whatsoever. Really the rain will come in more as you go into your Sunday with that disturbance coming from the west, really just bring up you know, those rain chances. But overall it will be about 20 to 30 percent chances of rain, so it won't be too widespread but you know scattered variety overall but by Monday conditions improve once again and we'll just have that sun cloud mixture to start the beginning of the work week but temperatures are going to be back close to the 50 degree mark. For tonight though 32 degrees mostly cloudy and cool with those winds coming out of the north at five miles per hour as we go into Saturday you'll notice those temperatures are going to rebound into the low to mid 50s, the winds, thanks to those winds coming out of the southwest at five miles per hour, we can even get close to 60 degrees in some isolated areas. But overall, low to mid 50s will be the main number 55 in Ontonagon, 50 in Houghton, 54 in Crystal Falls and Florence. A little more towards the east, 51 in Marquette, 52 in Munising. So as you can see, towards the lake shore, temperatures are going to be closer to 50, towards the inland regions into those mid and even upper 50s and we can even flirt with a 60 here and there depending how much sunshine breaks through the region as we go into your Saturday. As we look at that day plan a little more closely we'll wake up in those low to mid 30s with partly, partly sunny skies by the time we get into our noon hour 51 degrees. By the time we get to the evening we'll begin overall we're going to have partly sunny skies partly cloudy nights. Uh, temperatures once again will fall into those mid 30s. Sunrise occurring at 8:18 a.m. As we look at the next seven days, we'll hit 50 on Sunday, but do have that rain gear with you by Monday. Conditions again are nicely, once again, mostly sunny skies to start the first day of the work week. Temperatures will be back in the mid 40s. Tuesday will have more, a little more. We'll still have that sunshine coming through by Wednesday. The clouds begin to thicken once again ahead of a quick moving disturbance. But the next best real chance of rain will really come in on Friday and that's when we're going to be dealing with another disturbance coming from the south but overall you can see temperatures are going to be flirting with that 50 degree mark all throughout the next seven days morning lows are going to be slightly above freezing so fall is really here if you wanted the 60s unfortunately they're going to be gone so a decent amount of sun and clouds <laughs>